KP classes dedicated to excellence. Hello everyone. For all those who are preparing for Gate Architecture and Planning 2026, there is an important update regarding the exam date. The Gate authorities, the Gate conducting authorities this year have released the day, the timetable uh, for the, the schedule for the examination. Uh, uh, we uh, earlier knew the dates that the exam for Gate exam the, the exam uh, will be conducted on 7th, 8th, 14th, 15th. But Gate Architecture and Planning, do we have the final schedule? it is scheduled for the afternoon session gate architecture gate AR you can see it is scheduled for the afternoon session of 15th of February which is Sunday so that's an important update for everyone preparing for gate architecture plan now this is a good thing because we have uh, a couple of days extra for the preparation or revision you can say in the month of February because the exam is in mid February this year for architecture though so if you look into the previous pattern generally gate exam was conducted in the first weekend of the February uh, even the last year so this time we have an additional week of time now uh, in this context for all those who are preparing for the examination one major question which everyone has is what are the important topics what are the scoring areas what should our focus be in our preparation in this video we will be discussing about the exact same question wherein we'll talk about the important areas or concepts or subjects you need to focus on to score well in the examination let me clear out before moving any further that you cannot pinpoint and say okay you'll get questions from this particular subject because no one knows till the date of the examination the number of questions of weightage from every subject but we can have a broad understanding on the on the overall pattern of the question paper and what should be the strategy during the preparation so one important area of focus for good score in the gate architecture paper is the numerical questions nat type question numerical answer type questions i'm sure you know nat questions have an advantage that they don't have negative marking if you have an incorrect answer You'll not lose any negative uh, you'll not have any negative marking that's number one number two uh, these are equally tough so these are at the same time that doesn't make these type of questions easy because there cannot be any guesswork in this questions because you will have no options in these questions you will just have an input box and you need to type in your numerical answer and these questions are major so it is always in the uh, they're based on numerical concepts itself so that said what is the weighted now many people many students many candidates preparing for the gate architecture paper also have this question uh, uh, on how important is it how important are the numerical questions is it okay to leave numericals completely i've seen students in my past uh, two a lot of them who are scared of numericals i come and ask okay can i leave numericals and get a good rank let me also talk about the weightage or the importance of the numerical questions in general this also is not fixed in the gate exam no aspect of it is fixed other than the exam will be for three hours and hundred marks and the number of questions but which type of questions uh, so how many numericals will be asked not fixed every year it changes so if you if you look into the past few years in the 2023 years okay let me start with uh, 2025 this year's paper if you look into the 2025 question paper numerical questions had a huge weightage of around 32 to 35 marks why am i saying why am i giving a range for it because in the 2025 paper for the first time after the change of pattern uh, in the 2022 year the gate pattern has been updated for gate architecture and planning after the change in the pattern for the first time in 2025 the number of numericals for planning part and architecture part were not same so for those who are we are talking only about the numerical questions in this particular video wherein i'll talk about the subjects and weightage also of the numerical questions but in terms of overall weightage of the question paper the weightage was third i'm talking about marks here it was 32 marks out of 100 marks for those who selected the planning part that is part b2 for those who selected so there were three extra marks in the numericals because there were two extra one, one numerical of one mark one numerical of two marks was asked in addition to the planning part in the architecture paper that is b1 so if you would have selected b1 part the weightage of the numerical part was 35 otherwise that was 32 in either case if you take an average it is approximately one third of the question paper so imagine how huge that is one third of 100 marks of the overall weightage was the weightage for the numerical questions in the credit that makes it very important uh, in the 2025 paper is it always this way 
is it always 30% or one third of the question paper is it always numer uh, numerical not necessarily if you look at the 2024 paper only one fourth of the question paper the weightage of the numerical part was 24 marks uh, for an 80 type question so it's like approximately 25% or one fourth of the question paper from one th so it was one third of one third of the total weightage was numerical in 2025 one fourth was numerical in 2024 if you look into the 2023 it was further less than this it was only 16 marks 16 marks out of total 100 marks 16 marks is almost like the weightage of the general aptitude equal to that was the weightage of the numerical questions in the question paper because there were very few only eight numericals were asked in the question paper of 2020 so it was like this there were six six numerical questions in the common part in the 2023 paper and there were two numer all were two marks questions there was no one mark numerical in the 2023 paper there were two numericals in the part b that is architecture or the planning part whatever you select so only eight numericals 16 marks was the weightage so in nutshell the weightage of the numerical questions in the paper it is not fixed it can range anywhere between 16% to 33 34 35% also uh, you should always be so what should be a strategy in preparation you should always be prepared for the uh, for a situation where you have the highest whichever topic whichever type of questions you're talking if you're talking about numerical questions you should be prepared for the higher number you should be prepared to score well in the numericals covering all the numerical concepts that said irrespective of weightage be it 16 percent or 35 percent whatever the weightage is still i consider numerical part to be a scoring area for the gate architecture candidates reason being the third day i'm sure you are well aware if you look into the official syllabus if you look into the past questions if you look into the uh, overall uh, areas which are tested in the question paper you will clearly see that there is no boundary for the theoretical part particularly uh, I'm sure or you are all from architecture and planning background and you understand that there is no boundary for the theoretical questions or theoretical part when you prepare for the examination that doesn't mean you will leave the theoretical part obviously you have to cover all the basics but there's no boundary beyond which you can say okay you can be assured that okay I'll not get a theoretical question beyond this that becomes very vague but for numericals you can define the boundary you can define the subjects you can define the topics where you get a numerical let us try to understand about this so this will help you I, I've prepared a uh, analysis of the weightage of various subjects in the numerical part for the past past three years so let us have a discussion and identify uh, or try to see if we can identify subjects which can be scoring subjects which can be important subjects which are repetitive for the numerical part in the gate architecture and planning examination so you see there are three columns the first one is 2025 weightage this is 24 and this is 2023 so if you look into the 2024 sorry 2025 pattern as i told you there were huge number of numericals so the list is long like you can see uh, the total number of uh, new the total weightage was like i said 35 marks for architecture for those who selected the architecture paper uh, so and if you compare it with the year before that 2024 uh, the number of questions were a bit lower it compared to 2025 but if you look into the subjects and the questions asked so uh, one thing uh, which you observe generally in the gate paper uh, a huge number of numericals just from one subject is not seen they try to cover all the topics so generally one or two questions maximum so majority of the subjects you will get only one numerical like for example if you take up a subject like project management you'll get only one numerical from that subject uh, there has been no instance of two questions from that subject anyway there are some subjects like housing you can see there are two questions in the common part in 2024 fire safety there were two numericals in the 2025 paper uh, very rarely again there will be three questions like from ptm there are three questions in the planning part in 2024 paper from transportation there are three numericals in the 2025 paper that is because transportation and ptm are very vast in the planning part so uh, there are a lot of topics within each of these planning technique management or transportation in any case let us try to focus on the good part let us try to focus on what is common so if you observe 2024 2025 paper all these seven subjects are common actually like 
there has been a question from basics of architectural design actually this question in 2024 was on calculation of slope of a ramp which you can consider as basics of architecture or basics of architectural design and graphics so there was one numerical from that and in 2025 paper also till here till the housing part all these subjects are going. there were two numericals from basics of architecture and graphics so these two questions one was based on the calculations related to the scale of architectural drawings and one question was based on perspective understanding the terms of perspective what is vanishing point and so on so those terms uh, you know, so it's based on architectural graphics so two questions on that two numericals i'm talking about very rarely you get a numerical from graphics part which was in 2025 other than that there was one numerical from structures in 2024 also and also in 2025 so you see that is a common subject let me try to help you highlight these things so you see uh, at a larger scale a subject which is common almost every time for numerical part one is project management second is estimation and the third is housing these three core topics you will for sure get a numerical or you can be almost certain that you'll get a numerical from it so all the three 2024 2025 and also 2023 if you compare you have one numerical from project management in all the three years and then estimation that is the second important thing there was one new numerical here from estimation one in numerical from estimate there were two numericals from estimation in 2023 paper so project management estimation it is almost short short that you'll get a numerical from these areas in addition to that housing at the same time housing mainly the numericals are focused on two areas one is based on the far calculation densities secondly with respect to the proportion of hig mig and lig housing so that type of numerical is the second model there are some questions sometimes on housing demand or need and so on shortage percentage calculation all so there are numerical areas in housing and you will almost certainly get a numerical there are two numericals from housing in 2024 paper and you again have a housing numerical in 2023 also so these three you can say are the most certain things in the paper other than that the other subjects like landscape also so from landscape subject you generally get questions on the runoff calculation a landscape numerical on runoff was asked in 2024 landscape question on runoff was asked in 2025 also so this can also be an important numerical area now that said i hope you understand why i'm trying to emphasize numerical with this so you can define the area like if there is subject of housing you need to know what how to calculate the built up area using fir using ground coverage and building height restrictions and you need to know how to find out the percentage of different dwelling units in a housing uh, say in a housing unit or in terms of number of units for hig mig and lig the proportion calculation then you need to understand about housing need shortage calculation so these numerical areas are defined and these are the areas from which you broadly the numerical can be simple or a slightly complex one but the basics you need to understand so once you cover that you can be certain that you will be easily scoring at least two marks in the question paper that too without the issue or without the problem of negative marking moreover project management you can define the numerical concepts in this particular subject also you need to know how to draw a network diagram you need to know how to identify the critical path and calculate the project duration you need to know how what are the four types of float and how to calculate them in a given network and sometimes you might get a numerical related to pert as well not just limited to critical path method or cpm so the areas are defined so you need to cover that so that will easily give you two more marks in the question paper in the examination then you have the subject of estimation so estimation is one of those subjects which is very easy to score i'm sure everyone from architecture and also planning background for that matter can easily score well in the estimation part because if you know the basic formula basic geometry related to 3d forms basic understanding of uh, say the central line method or long wall short wall method basic understanding of the calculating estimation of say volumetric units or say area based you know, if you understand that again you can easily score two to four marks from that so these areas are runoff calculation landscape there are numericals in both 2024 and 2025 paper based on so understanding the calculation for quantity of runoff which is calculated uh, so basically by multiplying the coefficient of uh, the uh, runoff coefficient with the intensity of rainfall and the area so multiplying these three you will get the quantity of runoff that's again an important numerical area based on that you can easily score two more two more marks uh, looking into the other common subjects from where numericals have been asked these three things basics of architectural graphics and design now that is a very broad area but if you have a basic understanding of uh, concepts like scale in architectural drawings 
slope and ramps or staircase or slope of uh, uh, slope of contours there was a question on contour slope calculation also in the uh, in the planning part in 2023 so understanding about slope calculation these basics can give you a couple of marks too in the examination then structures even though structures is in the architecture part numerical from structures that do not simple straightforward numericals the numerical in the 2024 paper actually was uh, based on the calculation of bending stress tear stress calculation so which is uh, com you need to have a complete understanding of bending moment diagram shear force diagram on the calculation of bending moment shear force bending stress shear stress that will give you two more marks in the common part it was asked so there are deviations always beyond the boundaries of the official syllabus then valuation is again a very important topic which is linked with housing so in the official syllabus valuation and housing are in a common unit on the same unit or same section that is section number six if i'm not wrong so valuation part where you have real estate valuation where you find out the value of assets or buildings that again uh, is an important area which can give you two marks and let me tell you before i end this uh, analysis let me give you one more important point the valuation part is not only important for real estate valuation it is not only important to score those two marks in the common part but the same concepts are also asked in other topics like in PTM tools. So there are sometimes questions in PTM which are related to the financial models which we use in valuation. So understanding net present value calculation, internal rate of return calculation, these terms and concepts are a common part for valuation and also the planning technique management PTM subject which, can, which is important for the planning part as well. Uh, so that is an understanding of core important areas which are scoring which can boost up your rank and score in the gate exam which in a nutshell for those who are preparing for the gate architecture exam you should never forget these topics you should never leave out these topics without understanding without learning that's one thing coming to the architecture part common subject obviously would be structures there is always you know, all both the questions in 2023 are from structures there were two numericals from structures in 2025 also because structures itself structural analysis itself is a numerical intensive subject and obviously they will at least ask you two questions sometimes it can be one also other than structures lighting and acoustics are numerically intensive topics you always have a numerical from acoustic subject too like in 2024 and 2023 you can see lighting and acoustics then there was one numerical on estimation also again the boundaries are not rigid like you know uh, additional subjects including hvac elevators questions end up from these topics also into the paper sometimes however common things which are very frequently asked structures it is in the planning part both ptm and transportation have numerical concepts under ptm you have numericals related to population projection you have numericals related to uh, say uh, the scale of uh, scale and proportion so scale based calculations slope based calculations uh, so uh, and also on transportation you have numerical concepts uh, so there are advanced uh, all the three numericals in 2025 paper were asked on advanced transportation or topics related to transportation so urban economics of ptm planning technique management is also equally important so there are sometimes questions particularly if you look into the 2024 paper there have been numericals on the economics part urban economics part of also under the planning technique management so that's a broad understanding of those areas so let me uh, give you a last and final point before i end that is do not think that studying these areas will ensure your good rank no obviously this is an important area that doesn't mean you'll leave out the theoretical part it is equally important to cover all the theoretical concepts but this i help i hope is helpful for you to prepare a strategy to cover the numerical concepts for the gate examination uh, so all the best for our preparation and uh, for enrolling for uh, preparing with the lectures and the study material and test series with us you can contact on the contact number scrolling on the screen and also you will find all the details of our course uh, for the gate preparation in the description of this video kp classes dedicated to excellence